Good morning friends. Welcome to Adda 24/7. We are in selection series for CIV on YouTube and the to- and we are in APM. Very importantly, remember focus on your exams. Why? Because they are nearing and you must clear this exams at any cost, okay? Okay. Now the registration is going on. So everyone focus carefully on the electives. In electives, you have rural, HR, IT, central banking, and risk. Okay, so in this elective, select that elective in which you are comfortable. Okay, and importantly, negative marking has been removed, so that is this is gone now. So this is gone. Okay, negative marking is gone. But remember, the electives to be chosen: rural, HR, IT, central banking, and risk. don't go for those electives which you feel that these are very good for future prospects don't do that select in which you have already worked first to clear your cib afterwards go for the knowledge uh, knowledge or something lucrative part okay so select the electives very properly they will decide whether you clear or you don't clear okay move on so let's start the topic the topic for today is basically we are doing the objective questions on chapter 1 of abm basics of statistics okay so the data of some workers salary are given as 2300 2400 2500 <coughs> 2100 2000 blah 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 up to this okay if the desired number of class intervals is 10 the class width is <coughs> <coughs> Now what do you mean by this? Okay. Hmm. Desired number of class intervals is ten. Okay. So total number of intervals required is ten. Okay. How to find out the class width then? Hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Hmm. Simple. See this. Class width equals to. Very simple. Now you'll find it easy. But I won't give you the answer. That's what you have to find out. I'll just tell you. Max. Minus minimum. Upon. Elements. Number of elements. Or number of classes. Number of classes. That simple. Okay. Now do it. Everyone do it, please. Yeah. Maximum is what? Which is the maximum number over here? Three thousand, right? So three thousand. What is the minimum number over here? Minimum. Which one? Type in the comment section. Which one is the minimum number over here? Everyone, type fast in the comment section. Yeah, it is. Correct. Yeah, type fast. Yeah, I've seen. I'm seeing this here. Two thousand. Forget this. One time. Two time. Forget this. 2000 is there two times over here then 2300 is there two times forget this that's not a point over here you focus on your question the question is class width so class class width is maximum number minus minimum number the whole upon number of classes required is what 10 so done what is the answer so it is 1000 upon 10 so answer is what is the answer type in the comment section I must see in it in the comment section, yeah. So that you are following, yeah, correct. It is hundred. Got it, everyone. Simple. See here. Whenever you have to find the class weight, get the maximum number given. Get the minimum number given, and divide this by number of classes. That will be given in the question. Okay. So that is known as class width. Okay. Now, uh, let's move ahead. Okay. The largest and the smallest value of the data are 60 and 40 respectively. If desired number of class intervals are five, then the class width. Is, this should be the easiest one for you because just now I told you, right? How to find out the class width? So give me the class width now. Everyone, fast, 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 fast. Now I won't answer this. See this. Take this hint from here. Class width equals to maximum minus minimum upon number of classes. Okay. So what is maximum? See this given over here. So it is everyone. What is maximum? Give me the number first. Maximum. 
maximum in the class interval equals to what who can give me it is maximum in the class interval equals to 60 minimum what is minimum in the class interval everyone it is hmm yeah 40 how many class intervals are required number of class intervals okay how many class intervals are required 5 so what to do so width equals to equals to maximum right minus minimum the whole upon 5 right so 60 minus 40 20 upon 5 See the answer, isn't it easy? Got it clear? Type for type yes in the comment section. Got it clear? Simple. Okay. Move ahead. The class intervals, well, upper and lower limits are also in the class interval. Are called as what? So this the class intervals where upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval are called as what? exclusive type inclusive type discrete type and continuous type so what can be the answer for this everyone <coughs> yeah <coughs> who can give me the answer the class intervals in which the upper and the lower limit are included in the class intervals is called as inclusive or exclusive inclusive or exclusive everyone it is inclusive or exclusive yeah it is called as inclusive it's given in your book also okay it's inclusive means the upper and the lower limits are included in this class interval okay in your book it's the answer is given as b only over here okay some books give this as exclusive okay where the upper and the lower limits are included but we have to go as per our books man isn't it because in the exam the questions will be asked on the books So it is inclusive. Remember this. Then you will tell me what is exclusive. Then exclusive is separate. Inclusive is separate. There are three types of intervals actually. We'll discuss it some day later. Okay. Firstly, everyone download a Data Twenty Four Seven app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus current affairs, job alerts, daily quizzes, live classes, e-books, tests. Everything you will get it. What is required for clearing JIB and CIB? Everything. Okay. So download it right now. The type of cumulative frequencies where the frequencies are added, starting from it is from starting from the highest class to the lowest class is called as relative frequency, percentage frequency, less than cumulative frequency, and greater than cumulative frequency. So what will it be called as? means cumulative frequencies where frequencies are starting from highest to lowest so what is that called as yeah everyone yeah okay <coughs> so what is the answer what are you getting Greater than small. See here, I'll give you the hint also over here. It is either C or D, not A and B. So A and B are out. So what can be the answer? Less than frequencies are added starting from the highest to the lowest. See here, highest to lowest. Okay. So that is called as what? Less than or greater than? Everyone. Yeah. Highest to lowest. Okay. We are going from highest to lowest. so that is called as everyone that is called as greater than from highest to lowest when i go it is called as greater than and when i go from lowest to highest it is called as less than okay clear everyone so here the important point over here is you need to understand the difference between them okay okay uh 
let me show you if it is there available let me show you if it is there on youtube available mm, see this hold on yeah see this if you see the thing uh, see it on youtube the greater than frequency is also known as more than type of frequency here the greater than frequency distribution is obtained by determining the total cumulative frequency starting from the highest to the lowest class isn't it see this highest to the lowest <coughs> from highest to lowest so this is opposite one okay height less than this this is less than type <coughs> and this other one <coughs> it is 25 27 see this this is highest to lowest highest class is over here so 25 27 22 24 we are going down okay understand this so this is highest to lowest or this is known as greater than and this is known as less than here i am going from how 140 to 145 145 to 150 150 to 150 so i am going above and in this i am going in this one i am going down means i am going from 25 27 to 22 24 to 19 21 so this is the way i am moving out okay so i understand when i am going highest to lowest it is known as greater than and when i am going lowest to highest okay lowest to highest it is known as less than got it everyone move on clear this concept okay chal move on the data classifications which is based on variables like demand supply height and weight is considered as so what is this data classification which is based on what uh, high uh, demand supply <coughs> all these thing mean discrete elements okay so it is called as what the data classification which is based on elements like demand supply height weight is considered as what so it is considered as the right answer to this is now many of you will think it is discrete but discrete is not the answer the answer right answer is let me think okay i'll give you the hint this is out even time series is out this is not the point okay only a and b it is known as qualitative or quantitative either of these two so what is that it is either qualitative or quantitative yeah yes 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 it is everyone yeah it is qualitative or quantitative only two now here we have come down to two now okay so what can be the answer for this qualitative versus quantitative hmm yeah see here it is the answer is quantitative quantitative why because look at this demand supply height weight everything is number based you can definitely know the numbers of demand you can know the numbers of supply height everything okay so that's why it's called as quantitative quantitative okay got it <coughs> not clear okay shall we move uh, shall i show you okay hold on i'll show you what are the details as such because see the concept should be clear in your mind so this data collected about numerical vari numeric variables will always be quantitative data and data collected about categorical variables will always be qualitative therefore you identify the type of data prior to the collection based on whether the variable is numeric or categorical okay means whether i am selecting something from category category wise okay then it is called as category wise then it's called as qualitative if i am selecting something numeric wise then it is called as quantitative see this again one more quantitative data is a number based countable measures and or measurable qualitative data is interpretation based descriptive or relating quantitative data tells us how many how much and how often 
qualitative data helps us to understand why, how and what happened behind certain behaviors. I mean this is more of soft skills. Qualitative is more of soft skills. Okay. And quantitative is more of numbers. Got it? Clear? So you can read this more. Okay. Let me show you if it is there. See this. Mm -hmm. Let me expand this. Okay. Quantitative, Num uh, measurable and relating to numbers. Qualitative, descriptive, relating to words or language. Okay, so let me show you one or two examples over here. Then you'll understand it better, isn't it? Hold on. Let me see. If yeah, it is there over here. Over here. See this. My friend is five feet and seven inches tall. My best friend has curly brown hair say this this is qualitative you can you measure this curly brown they have green eyes uh, again qualitative they have six uh, they have size six feet so here all numbers are there got it now it the concept is very clear to you type yes in the comment section everyone move on Chalo. let's move on then <coughs> everyone subscribe to officers at the 24 7 youtube channel click on the bell icon okay subscribe to it why because you are getting various updates on jib and cib in this channel number one and number two what you are getting is various free youtube series like the one which you are watching right now you are getting all the free youtube series over here so immediately go for it subscribe to it click on the bell icon the data is classified or, or arranged by the by the time of occurrence such as years more months and or weeks so this is known as what so when something is arranged according to the years, months or equal number of things means suppose if I consider year then it is 2023, 24, 25 so the range is or the interval is very fixed okay so it is called as what time series, geographical, historical and both A and C simple one quite simple one okay yeah quite simple okay so the answer is okay i'll give you the hint geographical is out so it's either a or c or d d means both so remember one thing you always remember regarding years months and weeks suppose if i say i'm arranging as per january february march everything okay so it means what it's coming in the regular intervals when something is in the regular intervals it's a part of time series data time series always has one axis okay which is there are two axes always okay we have to always calculate x and y okay so this independent axis of uh, time series is always in a regular intervals so time series data will always be this so a is the answer but what about c historical data that's obvious historical means what suppose if i'm finding any data this data will be for some history some earlier point can i find the data for future data can never be available for future i can make predictions for the future okay i can't have data data means what hard facts i can't have facts for the future i can have predictions for the future so c is also the answer so the correct answer is d both a and b okay correct answer is d both a and b okay now let me come to the batches see this the batch has recently started jib okay this a uh, cib batch recently recently means what yeah yesterday only yesterday we have started with the main course so join this batch asap 80 percent discount is going on double validity on mapx is going on if you are having the app you'll get one percent extra so go for this uh, batch immediately why because we are covering all the four basic uh, this compulsory subjects we are covering this numericals objective questions case studies everything is covered okay how to use this code y432 and get this 80 percent off let me show you go to adda 24 7 okay go click on this one sec let me bring in that site okay yeah 
so go to adda 24/7 click on this uh, jib cib okay one sec see here now you are on adda 24/7 click on jib and cib front page itself jib and cib clicked look at this now you will see the cib 23 click on cib 23 you will see the details of the batches click on this english batch okay click you will see the this details again means what are the dates what are the timings what are the study plans everything you will see it over here click on this now read this basically okay go through it remember there are only two months remaining remaining so i would always suggest go for the classes ebooks and tests that much is enough for you for clearing click on more offers Now look at this. Put the code Y four three two. Okay, click on apply. You are getting eighty percent off. Twenty three nine 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 reduces to four seven nine nine. Such a huge discount you are getting. Go for it. Okay, why? Because only two months are remaining for the exam. You can go for Mahapack also. In Mahapack, what happens? You are getting multiple batches, fifteen batches per subject. Okay, so let me show you Mahapack also. Click on JIB CIB Mahapack. Click on CIB ka maha pack. See this. You will get 15 plus batches over here. ABM, BFM, ABFM, BR, BL. 15 plus batches for that. Of course, recorded videos are available. Ebooks are available. Tests are available. So definitely, I would suggest go for this. And click on more offers. Put the code Y four three two. Click on apply. The offer which you are getting is thirty four nine 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 reduces to six triple nine, and validity is six plus six months double validity. Okay, so you should definitely join the Maha Pack because fifteen plus batches per subject it will give you a lot of knowledge. Tomorrow I'll be back with another series. Till then, everyone keep studying and importantly, discounts are going on. Join the batches 